Hey everyone, today we're going to be showcasing and reviewing the ultimate Jedi Temple Guard lightsaber, this one right here. So let's go! Now options for this saber in particular are actually very limited. The only real offering there is at the moment is the, the Disney Parks version and that one I believe might have been even discontinued or is very hard to get anymore. Recently they did do the limited edition version which had a lot of different accessories um, but this by far I think is the best offering on the market. It's not something you can buy outright, it is by a custom sabersmith so it's it's not something you can just buy off the shelf, but this piece in of itself is just an amazing prop piece. So let's have a closer look. Now this one in particular is the Star Wars Rebels version of the Jedi Temple Guard Saber. And in fact, I am building the full costume. You can check that out here. There's a current playlist there. But yeah, this is the folding Rebels version. And of course it does unfold into the staff, which is fantastic. Look at that. And then you can just collapse it once again and it's back together. Now one thing that is a thing with this is it doesn't lock. So you do actually have to hold it and hold it shut if you're gonna hold it like this. That's what that's one gripe with this particular one. But overall this is this is just a beautifully, beautifully machined lightsaber. Now if you look at the actual profile of the Sabre itself, this one is actually much thinner than the other offerings we have from Disney. Uh, the actual Sabre itself it's actually quite thin. The Disney ones tend to be chunky in general. Uh, that's just by their natural design. Hopefully one day they'll refine that and get it down. But when you get custom machine lightsabers, they actually tend to be the correct kind of width and not sort of super chunky boys. So this saber has been anodized in two different colors on top of the, the bare aluminium parts. So we've got a gold color which covers a fair portion, but there's also a, a gunmetal gray which covers this part up here as well as the, the sections down here. Now this saber came in both uninstalled and installed versions. I had to get the installed. Uh, I was considering getting it empty, but I have to say after I received this and unboxed it and started playing with it, I am so happy that I went for the install version because this thing is fantastic. So if we get going and wake up the saber, you see there is a the boot noise in there. We get the red light there and that is very in keeping with the, the design of the, the saber from the show. And make them both up even. There we go. And of course, it turns on. And this has a tri Cree LED in there. As you can see, it looks incredibly nice. It's got a low battery. It does that. As you can see, the, the lightsaber is very bright. We'll turn that off to stop it, stop it moaning. Um, I do need to take the batteries out and charge them. It came with two rechargeable batteries, um, which I had to install myself, which was very easy. You just have to unscrew the cover, slide everything up. It's all designed to be very easy, not only to take the battery out, but also access the SD card in there. And also the installation of the blades on here. Of course, it can take a blade. There is a little retention screw just here, and that is very easy to loosen and tighten. And it's been designed even in a way that the screw actually can't come straight out. Uh, this way so you can only wind it out so far and wind it in so far once the blade is in so it's a very nice uh, design feature of this saber and yeah it makes for a very nice experience fitting the blades in now this saber does come as one you cannot separate the two halves because they have this beautifully machined connector uh, it's it's pretty solid um it's, it's there's a little bit of wiggle which i kind of wish wasn't there but Otherwise, it's incredibly solid. All you have to do is these are spring-loaded and each one will give. Unlike the Disney one, this one is so well done and solid that you can actually do that, which is a beautiful feature when sort of revealing the saber into a staff mode. It is beautiful. It's so satisfying just to be able to hold it, flick it out knock buttons by accident but yeah 
It is a beautiful mechanism and one of the really high points of this whole saber is this beautiful folding mechanism. Now this didn't come with blades. I actually have two 24 inch blades. These came from JQ Sabres. Um, they're beautifully made. They have a bullet tip on the end. They look fantastic. I just keep the, the bung on the end here just to keep stuff from going in. But all you have to do is pop that out. Just, just pop it straight in, do up the retention screw and then we're ready to go. Now both these sabers have a Verso soundboard from KR Sabers, which is a lovely little board. It's very easy to use, and because it's got a Tricree LED in each, this saber can actually color change. Now I have got it set to the amber color, which is of course the Jedi Temple Guard color, but with a double tap of the on button, we can actually cycle through a lot of the colors. Now, <laughs> is that, this was a lovely surprise to me. I didn't know it was gonna do this when I got it and uh, it was a lovely surprise to be able to cycle through and actually choose different colors for the saber. When I'm wearing the costume, I think I'm just gonna be, you know, in the orange, but it's, it's a lovely option to have on the saber to have different blade colors. Now I did go out on Twilight and film some stuff for you guys. It just covers how bright the, the lightsaber looks. Even outside, as you can see, it's pretty damn bright and on camera, it looks perfect like a real lightsaber. Just right here is that twilight, so there's you know, a little bit of light around, but it's also semi-darkness. So you can see what it looks like in that. It's kind of, it's pretty bright and you can see the distinction between the different colors. Of course, in person, they're much more the color that you see glowing on the saber. But um, yeah, I, if you, I just love how these appear on camera. They look absolutely fantastic. Not only did I film outside, but I filmed a little bit inside for you just to see how bright these really are inside in the darkness. And as you can see, they are damn bright. The ones that aren't a, an LED blade for just an in-hill light system, they're, they're, it's so bright and it's so cool. I just, I couldn't get enough of waving this thing around and changing the color and just generally playing with it. One cool thing about the Verso soundboard is that it's got the smooth swing action, which is, I tell you, it, as an immersive experience, it is so much better than my experience previously with soundboards. It adds a level of immersion that just uh, really sings to my sort of Star Wars fandom. And having that sound react to how you move the saber is just so fantastic. Now this saber in particular is made by a maker called Arm On Fire Custom Sabers. Now, as I said, they don't have them on the shelf and typically he does a few runs a year, like oh, maybe once a year he'll do a set of five or six of these and that's it. 
that's it, you have to get in. Having said that, I waited a fairly long time to receive this. Um, there was delays in the production. I knew there was gonna be a long wait time anyway, but there were delays in production, and I ended up waiting 15 months. Uh, yeah, 15 months before I received this. I, I put in my first deposit in February of 2021, and I received it in May of 2022. Now this is a long time, but uh, the, the maker was very forthcoming with uh, information about what was going on and always answered my questions whenever I chased up. They always gave me an update on where things were at and why there might be certain delays. So I really appreciate that from Arm on Fire Custom Savers. Also, this lightsaber was not cheap. If you look at the singles of the Disney ones, uh, they're up at about 300 US dollars or 300 GB pounds um, if you import them. Uh, I usually find it's about the same if you import from America. It works out about the same, even though the dollars go more into the pound. When I last looked, the limited edition set, which had the folding coupler and everything with it, that was up at around 700 to 1,000, depending. There's only a few thousand of them made and they sold out instantly. So the ones that you do find on eBay are also fairly expensive. Having said that, this one, as being a machine thing from a custom maker, this one set me back 1,800 US dollars, uh, which also was the equivalent in pounds once you add in shipping and import about the same so by no means a cheap saber but it is an incredibly good quality saber and i'm gonna enjoy owning it in my collection as well as wearing it with my costume now, this is my jedi temple guard mask and yeah it, like i said if you want to see how this costume is going i'll leave the playlist up here and in the comments down below so you can go and check out how that's going i've got some updates coming real soon if you're watching at the time of publication uh, but yes let's pop this on and see what it looks like So there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed my showcase and review of the Ultimate Jedi Temple Guard lightsaber. This one by Arm on Fire Custom Sabers. Oh, I, I can't wait to wear it out and about, honestly. Do stick around for more prop and costume goodness, and of course I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, take care, bye bye.